Hello, 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 YouTube. Today was a long day. <laughs> long day. I just love it when I say that. <laughs> but today was a long day. <laughs> well, what happened so far, I got my direct deposit set up. I fill out my benefits. I pretty much got everything done. I did my CBTs, got them all done and complete today. And tomorrow will be my last day of orientation. And I am looking so forward to it. Then at that point, I just wait for a trainer. Somebody like little guy trucker. <laughs> of course, he's not on my area, so I understand he can't train. Uh, but I like to appreciate everybody out there that subscribed to my channel. And you got some friends, let them take a look at this if they're interested in coming to Warner. These will be some good videos. Me and Little Guy Trucker and some other great guys out there videotaping this progress for you. And kind of giving you an aspect on what you're going to be getting into. I realized that the Warner terminal is pretty big. And it seemed like a great organization. Of course, uh, the funny and the motels, you know, I was not as a trucker motel. <laughs> but I really miss the family. And what me and the family is, like I said again, you want to make sure, you want to make sure that you have everything, everything organized at home. Is very, 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 very important. You got to make sure you have your home front in order. Keep communication with your loved ones, especially the lovely wife and the children, and be prepared to do a long term. You could be possibly gone from six to seven weeks. So, family is a strong foundation at home, is a benefit for you. It makes you very, it makes you very strong. It makes you able to accomplish this goal. It's going to take dedication. Just because you're not at home doesn't mean you can't continue to be good, clean, and wholesome. <laughs> but in and all, um, good trainers, my hoo-hoo's to the trainers, uh, the instructors, in other words, uh, the teaching the class of orientation, uh, their script. They're forceful, but they're very serious about their job, <laughs> as well as you should be when it comes to trucking. You want to make sure you get all the dust in a row. But once again, like I said earlier on my earlier video, I, I said that you want to make sure you have all your paperwork. Uh, basically, have any birth certificates that you need, or any and all types of licenses that you need from your CDL or Make sure you have that with you. If you don't have the CDL, you have waited for it at the DMV for it. Make sure you bring that little form paper that they gave you until your CDL comes. So make sure you bring that with you if you don't get them in time. It's okay. Just bring that on along with you. Um, also, it's very important to have um, to have your um, as far as that medical form that you took that little medical card, I they I didn't it's, it's useless. I mean they're gonna take a whole new medical card for you. You're gonna have a whole new physical. You're gonna have a whole new um uh, medical card. You have to have registered. So the card that you did it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It only helped you do your school instruction you're going to take a whole new medical card that you're going to have to get registered which they'll give you all the necessary information that you need I've got a great a lot of information from this uh, organization that really going to help a lot I hope this actually benefit a lot of you that are interested in coming to Warner uh, as your trucking school um, let's see I pretty much got all my tools with me I have my fancy little eye my fancy little tablet with me to keep me reading or anything I want to catch up on which is convenient and small to carry with me uh, I pretty much entertain myself with that movies and all wise um, 
and you can go to Verizon and get those. Um, and you want to have a reliable source of phone, uh, something that you can actually make sure you can make a call when you need to make a call, and also get you up in the morning. Very much important to get up in the morning. 5:30 is you need to be up, need to be out there in front waiting on orientation at 6:30. Punctual, punctual is very important. You got to be on time. Uh, other than that, guys, I. It was a long journey, but I, I got some great, I have learned some great information that was, I hope this was very beneficial to you. I'm going to be making a lot more videos at this point. Uh, procedure is that tomorrow we're going to catch up, we're going to finish up the process and what we are trying to learn at that moment. And then after that, I come back to the motel. And at that point, I wait for my trainer, which I'm going to be going on the road to do my hours. Which that's going to be out there. I'm going to be driving with the trainer for six weeks. Get out of this motel room because I'm the type of guy that like to be out there. Not in these cheap motel rooms. <laughs> but what you expect as a trucker, don't expect to be in a fancy, 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 fancy motel room. But hey, that's like every trucking dude. No one's going to pay a hundred dollars a night for you. You expect not to live in uh, luxurious. And go and swim every night and all that great stuff for sure. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I would like to do that, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> I would have loved to do that. I'm a fitness fanatic. Don't even have a gym. I do push ups every night now. <laughs> I did 100 push ups last night and then I did 100 sit ups. But all in all, I'm keeping healthy, I'm keeping fit. There's always different ways, and you don't, people, oh God, <sighs> you don't have to eat all the fat and foods. You're going to have a lot of machines here and everything, but in those machines, there's our turkey sandwiches, ham and sandwiches. Uh, you have some good, wholesome food in there. You don't have to eat the fat and food. You got lemon drinks, you got a lemonade, you got water. God, you can stay fit still. You don't have to eat the fat and food and still be healthy. And then you have a Kroger's. You have a lot of stores that's going to be around you. That a lot of grocery areas and a lot of good shopping centers that you can go to and get healthy products that you want, like wheat bread or that sort of thing. Things is, uh, things of that uh, are, are disposable, and you can actually carry around like canned foods and that sort of thing. Uh, if anything, I can. For I give you for as information on the best thing to buy for us to eat and. Um, um, the best way to take care of yourself while you, you, if you have to wait for a training for one or two weeks in this motel or whatever, if any kind of, I'm going to give you all the information I know, but if you have any concern on what you need to know, like I said, email me, comment on my comments. I'll, I'll reply back as fast as I can because I'm actually in orientation. I'm actually going through a lot of stuff now with all the stuff going on. I may be a little while to get back with you. But I get back with you. <laughs> like your, like Sean Connor always said, I'm, I get all my knowledge up in my head. You're gonna have to pause for a moment. <laughs> but I'll get with you. <laughs> but anyway, um, just let me know. I mean, I'll tell you what you need to know. Uh, I'm your eyes inside. <laughs> all in that, I hope everyone have a great night. And uh, like I said again, comment on anything you need to know and please give me a like. Let me know how you love my videos. I want to try to reach the 500 like little guy trucker doing. I, I want to be your other eyes on the inside while he's your eyes out there. Um, all in all, I um, hope everybody have a wonderful night. And be good. Peace out. And until tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to make a lot of more videos. Oh. Also, I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna be making um, two videos when I when we can start my training. The first one is gonna be basically uh, what I'm gonna be driving and uh, what the procedure on uh, where they take you from picking you up from your trainer and how they pick you up and how they basic procedure on where you're gonna go and how you're gonna proceed on driving. The best choice of your knowledge is. Try to drive as many hours as you can. I know a lot of them have said don't do all the driving, but dude, if you want to get in your own truck, 
I came to reality, I calculated every single moment. You need to drive as many hours you can during the day. Get those hours over quick. Me, I want to. I want to get out there and drive those hours as fast as possible. I don't want to do four hours a day. I don't. I, I want to do as ten hours if I can a day. I know I only can drive in the daytime, which I, I found that out also. But I want to do as many as I can. Um, the faster you get the hours over, the faster, the faster you can get into worrying about what you, you get in your truck, and you can get on to the procedure of doing the testing that they have acquired for you, and then you get into your own solo act, sleeping in your own truck, doing your own thing, you all by yourself. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just missing my family, and this is entertaining to me. I want all of you guys to entertain with me. Other than that, um, we do what we gotta do. We live like we like to live. But most of all, we can be safe. Peace to everyone and good night. Peace.